Cool. Swing. You gotta block something in there and something there, and then he's still taking six. So GG, buddy. Hello, welcome back to another Wild Card Wednesday video. Today we're playing Gruel Aggro. Um, after that, Blood on, not Blood on Snow deck, after um, Snow Mono Green, uh, I figured I'd mix that deck up a little bit because it was missing, it was missing kind of haste. Uh, it was missing haste and it was missing low drop plays. And adding red adds haste it had Helana and Alina which is like amazing it adds a lizard blades which if you can reconfigure that onto say like a frog hemoth whoa that's great or a titan of industry or anything giving stuff double strike is great it also adds a little way to make treasure with magda adds a little bit of kill spell to deal damage which is great and it adds this thing, which is a one play, which is what the deck was missing. It was just not quite aggro enough. The only one play that I would uh, consider using in green would be just Bear Sentinel. And it just, the mono green, it just slows it down a little bit. It doesn't, it doesn't add that much and it tends to just die in two turns flat. It's, it's just gone. It's gone too soon for it to get up to this this level, if you will. Um, but today we're running the hasty version of it. The hasty version of it is my preferred version. We're probably not going to get another 100% win rate game uh, or session, I guess, out of it. But we're going to try real hard. And we're nearly at diamond as well now, which is fun. Fantastic news. Um, you know what all this stuff does anyway. Lizard Blades gives stuff double strike. This thing destroys creatures and artifacts. This thing deals damage to an opponent. Then it adds a plus one plus one counter, which is like, hey, that's great on a Lizard Blades. It's like you basically got a 4 2 on turn two with that 1 2 combo. Um, into a Jewel Thief, I guess. <laughs> And then Ulvenwald, Ali, and Helena just power hitters into Frog Hemoth and the Titan of Industry. If you've got a Helena and Alina out and a Titan of Industry and the Lizard Blades, if you've got enough mana to reconfigure onto that, that's pretty much end game. That is like. Oh, what? You get plus two on the Titan of Industry? That could be like 18 damage with haste and a shield token on it. Or it could be a 4-4 four, four Rhino, it could be anything. Anyway, with that said, I um, hope you enjoy watching the video, and I think it's time to get down to it. Fun, fun times. That's what we like. That is a really, really, really awkward hand. It's also a good way to get rid of your opponent's kill spells. I really need a turn 2 play that isn't a braid. I mean, like, land's pretty good, though. Let's get rid of that. I could have maybe saved that, because it is at instant speed. I should have done, really. But, hey-ho. You can't win them all. Awkward not having a turn 3 play as well. But he didn't have a turn two, so this might be okay for us. Old Growth Troll. Mixing it up. Helana and Alina, perfect timing. I can bump my etching of Kumano up. If that was if I just block because it rubs you, right? At its trades, it also means that Helana and Alina is doing nothing next turn if I don't draw into a creature. Uh, no blocks. 
That's just so freaking awkward. Head turd, I guess. I don't really want to waste these. I just wish one of them was like an Overmold Oddity or a Frog Hemoth instead. It is kind of awkward running four of them. I think I should only really run three. But when you get it, it, it just works. You know? If this is another land, I'm going to cry. It was another land. Let the crying commence. I might as well all swing and then play another Halana and Alina, right? Yes. I want to keep you. I mean, like, another one mana and we're actually happy about that. But it'll probably be, like, a one drop. <laughs> like, for, for surezies, right? I guess we like block here and then probably die in the next two turns because that is horrific. Opponent's hitting all the marks and we are just not. That's a good one though. That is certainly a good one. What's he going to have for one green? You'd think he's got a veil in hand. I need to gain life and another creature wouldn't go on this. I could get rid of the chariot. I think we make a 4-4, four, because four, the 4-4 four, four can... Uh, it's really awkward that that's target player as well. Put that on that. Um, could swing in. No, not this time round. Not this time round. I just wish I had another one of those in hand instead of the Helena. Also wish that I didn't have Trample. I think at the minute what we're doing is just pumping this up to, like, the max. Because I, I don't think he can run any kill spells. Um... He might be able to deal lethal this turn, though. Like, I need more creatures down, really. Yeah, I think that that's lethal, to be honest. Yeah, because, like, i got to go block there and there. Um. So, yeah, and I can't gain any life, so... It's like 10 damage in. Sad face. Like, even if I destroyed the chariot, that still would have been game. And I wouldn't have had that blocker, so. Yeah. Riv. With the will avatar. Again, another really awkward hand. Yeah, it's just drawn me either all land or no land. This this game. This game session. I like his dragon though. Ah yeah. Wonder if he's playing goblins. Because he's either, like, either I've disconnected, or <laughs> he's disconnected, or he's got, like, four turn one plays, and he's just not sure what to do with them. I'd assume he's probably got one of those in hand, and a burn spell, and he's not sure what to play. Yeah, there we go. Meanwhile, I would do the exact same thing, and not take an eternity to do it. Feels good. Hoping for a Magda or a Lizard Blades. Like, Overmold Oddity is a really good draw. It just isn't... It just isn't useful this turn. That's a... That's a potent move. That's a wombo combo right there. It's just 
so annoying. Just like completely wasted the command armor. I hate doing that. I hate doing that. I think um I think since I'm running it in green red, I think maybe a Magda could get the Magda could get taken out for something. Or maybe the Titan of Industry could get taken out for something that's just a little bit more aggressive, a little bit lower down. Like a two or three mana play. Because Jewel Thief just isn't quite doing that. Yeah, just not quite doing it for me this time. Like, Jewel Thief's definitely coming down this turn. Whether or not I use the Tameos on it depends on what he's got in hand. Um, but, uh, well, that's friggin' irritating. Still got the Tameos to protect it, like. The thing is, it's like, it's probably worth me using the Tameos. Um, on Jewel Thief. But it's like, there you go. Let's see if you've got a kill spell. Cheeky burn. Nope. It gave me life back as well, which is good. Like, I could have held that treasure back, because I'm pretty sure that he'd probably want to take the oddity from me. And in fact, he might. He's still got stuff open. And we can get seven in. wonder if he's got something with flash. That would win me out. That'd be a weird move. If he doesn't kill my stuff, I've got a pretty good next turn. Yeah. Um, what are we doing? Let us, let's pop that. And just hit in for seven. See, this is really where I want the deck to be. Is against especially aggro red. Because their stuff just doesn't grow. With mono white aggro, it grows big. And it grows big quick. With uh, mono white aggro, rather. With mono red, it, it just gets in real quick. And then kind of fizzles out around turn three or four. Um... If if someone has blockers, like blockers are the real way to to beat uh, mono red. See, like, look at how cheap all this stuff is. Like three, two, one, one, two, one. That's four, but the blitz cost is only two. So like, mm, hexproof, baby. And I'm getting life from that, which is nice. The, the land just keeps coming, though. Which isn't where I want to be. He's got a block there, and then he takes four. Or he could block there, but I don't see why he would. He might have a burn spell in hand, though. I would assume not. Nah. Still got his 1-1 one, one rabbit battery. If he draws into another... Um, Play with fire. If he draws into another like Kami's flare, that'd be pretty nice. I bet he's regretting equipping the rabbit battery as well. Because if he hadn't, he could have. Hmm. I was gonna say he could have blocked the uh, the three three, but that wouldn't have been good. I don't know. Ugh. <sighs> Just another really awkward hand. I just uh, I just wish there was like a free mulligan. You know? Cause like I could save that to play on turn two or turn three so I can get that on the Halana and Alina, but it's just just not exactly ideal. I might as well play that now. Uh Another land would be good. Jewel Thief would be better. See, like, why can't we get that? 
There's like five two costs things in our deck. Can you just like get them? Uh, we're just gonna hold a braid up because it's an instant, which is why we're running a braid. It deals three damage. Three damage is like the right amount you want in a kill spell like that. You just get rid of the ass pirate before he even gets the counter. Then it's beautiful. Five in. Not, not what you need. That is also not what I need. Friggin', friggin mono red white. <laughs> friggin Boros. Need some life gaining, really. Wish I had another braid. Pass to attacks. Okay. Just do that way. I'm glad that he did that first. Can block there, get rid of that. That is pretty damn good. You can get six in now. You can get five in next turn if he kills the Helana and Alina. Um, he might have a brutal Cathar, but then we've got a six-six swinging back at him. I think I've just clutched this game. Um, that's no blocks. Ulvenwald Ulvenwald Oddity is a really good draw. Because we can play this. Seven. That's definitely attacking. If he blocks that, he still takes four damage. <sighs> um, so he can block there, block there, he take 9, and then swing back with a 4. I think I'd just attack with the oddity this turn, because then I've got 3 blockers. If he draws into land, plays a brutal Cathar, takes 1 of these away, I've still got 2 blockers. That's going to be th th one. Th that's gonna be for like 4 damage, but I still have 2 blockers. Um, so I could block there, block there. I'd still have the oddity to attack with next turn. Um, and we win again. Vivin. Yep. Ooh, yay. Let's go. Ranger class on two is all because uh, the commandos doesn't benefit it. I think Ranger class is actually on turn three this time around, unless I draw into an untapped land. I really need to draw into a mountain next turn. I really need to draw like forest forest. That would be pretty nice. Sanders Lounge. Pretty artwork though, isn't it? it does always make me wonder how they um they do these. Really cool. Cool looking. Well we got a land. And a ranger class. Slightly late. Swing in. I'd happily take trades with the Blood Tithe Harvester. I'd happily take it trades with the Wolf. If I get a land next turn, that'd be really good. Don't get a land next turn, that'd be annoying. I'd settle for like a Kamano's faces Kakazan, uh, and then a land the turn after would be an okay play as well, because then I can pump the Ranger class up. Just need that one extra bit of land. I wonder what he's thinking. I wonder. I just know that my next draw is going to be either like a Frog Hemoth or a Titan. 
uh, of industry, and if I draw either of those, they're pretty much never getting played. <laughs> I don't think the Titan will manage to get played this turn, this game rather. Um, I think it's going to be a race to the face, <laughs> if you will. Lanzi's a one of them. Uh, gonna play Halana and Alina. Can you put my counters here? Gonna go all swing. Because you can go block, block, take four. You can go block, block, take two. But then all this stuff's dead. I mean, all this stuff dies either way. He'll just carry my two twos. Might have like a hook, hook next turn. That's a blood not a treasure. Uh, he could hook for three. Would be all right. Really, I think he's looking for kill spell, kill spell. Blood tithe harvester didn't do it. Uh, it'll get rid of a wolf for a etching, but he could have just done that in combat, and then he'd have a blood token left. So he's just not really taking trades at the minute, which is fine. Um, like, even if you could Blood on Snow with, like, <laughs> two mana, I'd be fine, because I've got Oddity followed by Oddity. Um, I don't think he'll be running Blood on Snow, because there's no snow land. He's running the pretty Theros Swamps, though. Ooh, that pathway's gorgeous. So pretty. Not looking forward to a world without pathways, sadly. <laughs> you got a kill spot? Yeah, Volage Surge. Good game. Could play Jewel Thief. Could just Power Ranger class up, to be honest. That's like. The conservative thing to do. Go all swing. You gotta block something in there and something there, and then you're still taking six. So GG buddy. <coughs> Okideka. Or chideka. Quite a nice word. Double ranger class is actually um like a fun uh, play. It's not a very good play, but it is a f fun one. I shouldn't have really played that. I should have played uh, one of them, or that on red. That might have made him play around uh, what you might call it. Burn spells. But it doesn't really matter. If I draw into a Kumano, that's a really good play. Drop a red, drop a Kamano, and then um, Ranger class. I could even power Ranger class up. Um, and then the Halana and Alina's for three instead. Uh, yeah, we'll go with blocks. Why not? Worst he can do is give it indestructible. But, like, I don't really care about a wolf token. The pack leader does sort of grow sometimes. So, so yeah. If he's wasting a protection spell on the pack leader, then oh, okay. <laughs> or you could run an inscription as well. Had not considered inscription. Um, if inscription gave hexproof or indestructible, it would be getting played lots. As is sadly, it is not. To make another chump wolf. Turn four, Halana and Alina. Turn five, Froggy Muth. I mean, he's definitely wearing Blizzard Brawl. Let's go no blocks. Pump that up to a four four next turn. But yeah, if he's running Blizzard Brawl anyway, so on the Wolf, I'm happy with that. I don't want him using it on the Halana and Alina. He's gotta have one, right? Ah, that's annoying. 
I mean, you have to sack it for that. Uh, daytime flips if I play nothing. So let's play something. <laughs> What's he got? Instant speed, I wonder. Um, hmm. I don't want him playing land and then a storm the festival because that could be what happens. I prefer him to have less creatures, and my life total isn't that bad at the minute. If he swings back with everything, Worst case scenario, I take 8 and drop down to 6, which isn't a great amount of life, but it's kind of worth it. If he takes a ranger class, that's, yeah, I'm happy with that. I don't really, like, you sacking um, a creature for that is fine. Remember, I'm potentially getting six in with trample I'm gaining life from that because there's nothing at instant speed that can kill me it's like air fall at instant speed that can kill me in green I think other than uh, inscription actually Ooh, oh both troll is annoying uh, we could abrade the Pack leader and then power ranger class up. I think Frog Hemoth is a better play. I think. Boost that one up. And. What are we attacking with? Let's, a hmm. Let's just attack with the Frog Hemoth. Save the wolf, because I might want to block the pack leader. Maybe. I don't get damage in, which is irritating. And the Frog Hemoth dies. That's like the worst thing he could have done for me. On the plus side, he doesn't have an overgrowth troll. The downside is he might realize he can just make it an old growth troll <laughs> and then swing at me for eight. Yeah, not ideal. Not anyone's description of what ideal is at all. Chances of me drawing into a, a creature is pretty high. Uh, I guess you block like that, take four. I just really don't want him to have an inscription. Again. Probably does. <laughs> or a blizzard brawl. There's a lot that can mess me up in his deck. I think I'm being too cautious. I kind of break that, which is good. Just abrade that. If we could give that vigilance, that would be real nice as well. Hmm. What I'm gonna do now is pretty risky, but I think I'm dead either way anyway. Um target creature. Okay. Yeah, sure. Might as well get them forests out of there. Right. Uh, I don't think I'd be blocking the old growth troll anyway. Um. But yeah. That's not ideal. Show me... Show me the Titan of Industry. Please, God, show me the Titan of Industry. It's 
the friggin' Tamios. That's not ideal. No attacks and turn. Well, I'm not d dead this turn, at least. Uh, past the blocks. I can block. If I block there, I take four and die. So I can't block like that. I can just Tamiya's safekeeping that to gain the two life and save me for one more turn. And pray to God that I draw into a titan of industry and that he doesn't have... Hey! This guy. This friggin' guy. I can gain some life. I can give him lots of death. Um, four full blocks there, so he should have so He takes ten. Oh. We're on seven, so he's not threatening lethal anymore. Um, so whatever he draws into, I think this is my game just. I think that was such a clutch draw, though. Four fives with Vigilance, Reach, or Trample. Reach isn't good. I think he'll give them both Trample. Vigilance is good, though. Vigilance is a good one. Uh, I'll take Trades, because I've got Trample. Magda's not a bad, bad draw, neither. We can get that up to 12. Um, can make that a 5... 4. Which could block one of those. That can block one of those. And he can block one of those. Uh, he's got... 12 to block with. Hmm. Magna's going to be a chump blocker because neither of those have uh, have trample. Think that was the right play. Think I might have been better off putting it on Magda because then he can go block block there and then block on there. Uh, but then he's still taking three. I should have done that really. Because that would have killed everything. Three and one away from death. GG. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful plays, mighty boy. Cat communist. What a name. Certainly unique. Um. Kind of really friggin' awkward. Uh, I mean, it works, I just can't play the commando on one. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, because the second stage of it might go on the Halana and Rubino, which is what, what we like to see. We like to have a 3 4 with first strike and reach. That gives stuff plus three plus three counters every single turn. We need to draw into two more land, and this will get us going for the game. Yeah, Rockfall Veil on one. Turn two, Forest Ranger class. Turn three, hope to draw into land. Go a braid, whatever he's put down. Um. Yeah, I braid whatever he's put down and go for the Kamanos. Turn 4, Magda as a 3-4. Um, buff, Wolf, or Kumano Man swing in for big damage. Um, and he is probably going to be saying hell no to all of this. Oh, there's a Rafine. Ward 1's kind of annoying. Uh, do I want green or red? Red, green, green, red, red, green, green, red. Ah, Rafine's really annoying. It's a 1-4. Go Kamano buff Ranger class. 
think I want green. Uh, buff Ranger class. And a Kumanos. Kumano. Buff Wolf. Chump Block. <laughs> Not a chump block. It's just a block block. Because I can't block that because it's got flying. I don't know what he'll have in his hand. This is going to be a disgusting game. Because I'm pretty sure that the Rafine decks are basically built to F my day up. <laughs> the Rafine's funny. Oh, I thought it was going to be a land for a minute. It was not a land. Sadly. We do have a 4 4 Jewel Thief, which is good. Is he going to take the wolf? He's maybe got a uh, spectre guy in hand. He might counter it. That's the thing with Esper. It's like he could counter it <laughs> with blue. He could kill it with white. He could kill it with black. He could kill it with black white. He could probably kill it with black blue or white blue. <laughs> the possibilities are endless to mess my day up. Luckily, I've got a Tamios and a Snakeskin Veil, but that doesn't matter until I get a Jewel Thief down. <coughs> and perhaps most crucially, I need another land for next turn to play the Halana Alina and have it protected. Oh, uh, what are you saying? Swing in with the full four wolf. Run away. You'll be safer. Go on. Hit the exile button. I dare you. Lel. He'll probably have a kill spell for that next turn anyway. But I have dealt five in for a treasure, so. <laughs> Can't really be sad about that. Lol's irritating, but the Jewel Thief can start attacking every single turn because of Vigilant. So. Um, I'm glad that he's out of mana. That's always nice. Okay. I could go kill kill, then he's got a 3 6, which can only kill that. I can get 9 in. That leaves him down to 5. I could play Halana and Alina, put. That would be really good, but then I don't have Tamil's safekeeping for that. And he might just exile stuff. Um, that's got Trample. I think that's attacking the Wandering Emperor. I think you're attacking the Lolth. I think we go Halana and Alina. Buff up the etchings. Uh, you swing here. You swing here. And you swing here. And then I get to add a counter to the Jewel Thief because it's got Trample. I think he'll go, Rafine goes there and then just go block block because that buffs the Lolf up so that he can make spiders next turn. He might go block block on the etchings though. I mean, his stuff dying is really useful for me. Uh, need to think about hooks as well next turn because he might hook for three on Halana and Alina. Be nice to get her buffed up. I'm never done. It's Good. nice that you pick that one. My judgment is fun. I guess it's so that the Lolth actually works. <laughs> My hatred lives. Ooh. 
Land gives me options next turn because I could either buff that up or uh, a braid, a braid, and Tabios. I think we hold it a braid to target Rafid. You're definitely going there. Just go all swing that way. Buff you up. The Tamios can give something um, indestructible and hex proof. Wandering Emperor is annoying. Basically negates my shield from Blood on Snow. But Blood on Snow is not that bad for me because I've got a Frokemoth in hand. Ooh, Tamios. Has he chosen not to block now? I can't remember. Cannot remember at all. Yes, that's it. Block, Rafine. Block. You beautiful man. He might choose to phase that out. Or counter. Fair enough, but fine. Still get damage in and still at 20 life. Feels pretty good. He needs to get rid of my trampler. Mm -hmm. If you can see, he might just board wipe and he might still. Probably a land. Because he's not doing that to. I was going to say he's not doing that to buff Rafina, but I guess he is. Nice that he is just completely out of cards now. That's real nice. Oh, yes. And he gets some 1 1s too. I guess always a plus. Um. Let's just get rid of you. GG. Yo, Countess here. That goes up to 3, 8. That goes up to 9 with the Ranger class. Uh, where are we? View battlefields. Yeah, that goes up to 9 with the Ranger class, which means that even just blocking with 2, he's dead. Even if I just attack with the Jewel Thief, he's dead. Um, and to add insult to injury, there's a 7 7 wolf and a 3 4 Halana and Alina attacking next turn as well. Bang in. <coughs> what we got? 3 land, and it's good land. Frog, Hemoth, and Titan are like the worst things we can have in a start hand, though. Uh, hoping, like. I've not even seen lizard blades this game. I'm starting to worry that I've taken them out. Or well, these past few games, shall I say. Pop Pop Veil's really awkward as well. Really hoping for that turn 2 play. Don't see it, just see land. Irritating. Probably gonna be like 6 damage in at least, yeah. That gets buffed, so that's 8 damage in. Pretty much his game now, because I've got sweet F all to play in my hand at the moment. I got a snakeskin veil. Puts counters theirs, and welcome to the shortest game of magic. Fire block, uh, take six. Thundering Raiju. Puts a counter on the trampler. I blocks here. So I go with the snake skin veil. I still take night damage. Disgusting. Here was me thinking. Oh, that's such an awkward hand.
it, the hand continues to be incredibly awkward. <laughs> Guess we go green, go ranger class, right? Whoops. Ranger class into Halana and Alina into a 4 4 wolf jumping on your face. Feed the swarm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you do you, bud. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fenton! Uh, if everyone's gonna land next turn and the Halana Alina's still there, that's nice, I guess. Okay. This frog emoth's getting the damage on, is he? I mean, I gain, like, a lot of life back this way, right? Is it, like, two per thing? Or just one? Just one, but it's worth it, I guess. You can show me that kill spell. <laughs> oh my god. The abrades are doing absolutely zero work. I'm only running three, I think. I guess I'll discard some abrades. They're not getting used this game. I think I'll save the abrade for something that isn't a 1 1 pest. <laughs> What's he learning to? Exhibition. Yeah. I think his deck's, like, probably just gonna be all that. Um, Alana and Alina and a Jewel Thief's really good. Ranger class would be nice, actually. Uh, Jewel Thief's good because it gets us up to Titan of Industry weather, but I don't know. Maybe Ranger class is better. Like, Jewel Thief's got Trample, so it would have gotten like 4 damage in. Dropping down to like 11 or something. Um, 4, 5, 6. Kill spell, kill spell, probably. Yeah. Oh, red. Green, I guess. Might as well boost that up. Oven Ball Lottery is pretty fun. Got five in. Probably land exhibition. Still got a 6-6 six, six coming at him. Got 6-7 mamas. <laughs> Made me discard the abraid. Lol. Let's get another cheeky five damage in. See, this is where the haste creatures just come in handy so much. Because he's probably going to have another freaking kill spell. Like, exhibition this turn's fine. Just might as well just buff that up a touch. Swinging with a 10-10. 7, 8, 9. Slightly higher than his stuff. Four, five, six, seven. So he's still taking three from that, and I've still got the behemoth. Drawing into a snakeskin veil next turn is pretty good, too. Even if he's got the kill spell, I think I've won. Seven, eight. Nice. Land again. Ah, that's not what you want to see, is it? 7, 8, 7, 8, 9, 10. Land next turn's good too, I guess. If he gets rid of the ranger class, that'd annoy me, but... Hey-ho. Where's an abrade when you need it? <laughs> right. Getting rid of storms annoying. This is how oh, they're not annoying. I get to play a lizard blade as well. Next up, we get land. Snakeskin Veil's good, though. Hmm. Mildly annoyed. Um, good game, I guess. Swing in for four. Perfect damage. Easy mode. That was a disgusting deck. What an ass out. Ah, 
another freaking awkward hand. Green, into red, into Rockfall Vale, into Jewel Thief, into Hawana and Alina, into Frogheemoth, into him getting rid of a Jewel Thief, or maybe a Storm the Festival. I'll probably get rid of. Oh, he can't get rid of anything, that's nice. Kamano's is good, Jewel Thief will be a 4 4. It's running black green. I think there'll be a third colour rearing its ugly head out soon enough. One would imagine. Pro almost certainly got a kill spell for that. Right. Um. Okay. I guess Froggy Myth was the best play, because that would mean in two turns he'd be dead. But yeah. Ugh. Just again. The Shuffler keeps wanting to give me Halana and Alina. I wonder whether it's like, um. It has some weird thing about the cards that lots of people play. Because a lot of people play Halana and Alina. I think. Counter spell? Yeah. Jewel Thief would be good. Or anything that I can play on two or one. Or theme. Just the dirtiest card. You go, oh, it's only a 1 4, but it does grow immediately the turn after you play it. I wonder if there's like a Turbo Rafine deck that's any good out there. I do need to play this. I think this might be my next standard Saturday video. Let's go green, no armor, and Lena. If he kills it next turn, I'll get another one and my snakes can veil it. Because it will almost certainly have another kill spell if he's got one for it. Play an Esper Rafine. Guy has to, right? But he's annoyed that you're into land for that. Ugh. Wolf. I will show you what my will cannot be denied. Um, can't play the Helana and Alina, so we've got to play this one into a Magda. A that was pretty good. Next. Swing with a Magda, get some treasure in. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more, and we can play a Titan of Industry with a Helana and Alina open. That's pretty damn good. It's nice that my play effectively negated his play. That's some efficient mana usage. Also got a Veil, which I kind of hope that he targets Halana Alina with, because that's more counters for me. Oof. Spaghettios. Where's the locks? I guess I'll block, because it's only 1 4. Oh no. Thieves annoying. Uh, I guess we'll go with like a 6 6 Jewel Thief with Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. That feels mighty delicious. That is protected by a Snakeskin Veil. Oh, I really want my opponent to um, to target Halana and Alina then. Uh, no. Let's just go with a no. Probably got another kill spell for that, but hey ho. Obscure charm counters. Annoying. Annoying, but fair. <coughs> I'd rather him use that on the Jewel Thief than a Titan. I don't know what Titan will be doing, probably gaining life. Halana, right? I'm not overconfident. Ugh. You're just underwhelming. You are not much of a roadblock. Ooh, that's awkward, isn't it? Um, I think we're gonna go storm. Actually, 
I'm not under pressure at the min. Go with Lander or Moldotti. Go with the Magda. Nearly. Nah, we'll go with the Oddy. Land Oddy. Um, you go over there. You go over there. Get out of here, Wandering Emperor. Stop your wandering. Opponent has two cards in hand. Chances are that one of them's a land, which is probably gonna bin now. Yeah. So he's got two spells left. The Fiend's Tower cycling out. Two spells. Uh, land and a counter spell. Or a kill spell. It's a kill spell because he's looking at my cards. He's going, hmm. I'll save that till next turn. Okay, so a lot of options. Four, five, six, seven, eight treasures. We can power the order here. We can play a Holana and a Lena and do nothing. Or well, we can play a Titan. I think we play Titan. Play Titan. Um, shield counter and a Rhino. Titan shuts down Rafine, which is really good. It's got the shield counter on it, but if he's running Vanishing Verse, that plays around it. It's annoying. Maybe hoping for a kill spell here. Because I don't see why you would just plow a Rafine into a 7 7. Unless you're gonna have Blood on Snow, or Depopular, I guess. Uh, hey, that's pretty good. I mean, it's. That's good, but it is awkward, isn't it? Probably got a vanishing verse for that. Should have maybe played the Havana and Alina. Depopulate. Oofed. Maybe add a counter spell for it, to be fair. And I get to get rid of all of these lovely things here, like this tenacious underdog and this guy. Uh, this one. And where did Rafine go? Did his Rafine just get exiled for some reason? That feels really weird. Feels really, really weird. I have no idea. I don't really know what I'm getting rid of. Uh, depopulate, I guess. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I guess it's Rafine got exiled. I wonder how. Why did that get exiled? Oh, uh. Friggin' thingy thing was out. Come on. Feels mighty fine. GG. No re. Oh! Tier 1. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful place. And we're back for the post-game roundup. In summary, I think this is way better. Not way better. I think that this just like adds the seasoning to the mono green uh, kind of archetype. I think you could definitely play around with some of this. I think this is like almost perfect the way I want it. I think Magda could get replaced with something. Um, I think a braid could maybe get swapped out with play with fire, um, but other than that, it's it's all good. I think I don't know. It's maybe Frog Hemoth needs to get taken out, or maybe Titan needs to get taken out. I think Stone the Festival is good because it lets you just spew out stuff for six mana, which is hard to deal with if you don't have board wipes in your deck. And you know what? There's a lot less board wipes floating around in decks than there used to be. Um, I remember like literally everyone was playing Blood Money like four or five months ago and it was just board wipe after board wipe. Control is not really a thing that we're seeing, that I'm seeing in Platinum at least. Everyone seems to be playing the Rafine decks which is like kind of nice. Uh, no one playing Control is kind of nice. Yeah, I don't know. 
I think a, a decent control deck's pretty far ahead of this stuff, I think, but if you're running up to it, it the haste probably helps. It's probably why no one is, is there's quite a lot of hasty stuff out there that's really good at the minute. I'm interested to see what rotation's gonna spew out as well. Um, I've not looked at any of the Dominaria spoilers, but they're... I don't know. It's looking fun. It's looking like multicolored decks are going to be really hard to make, because I think the Painlands will be back, which are like... Um, they come in untapped, and it's tap, add a colorless, or tap, pay a life, add a green or a red, or a red or a blue, or whatever color it's in. Um... It should be interesting to see that, to see how that changes the matter. Uh, I'm loving Jewel Thief though. Jewel Thief's great. You can't beat the vigilance on it. The vigilance on it makes it. If if all my creatures had vigilance, life would be easy. Might make a vigilance deck next week. Who knows? Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video anyway. Uh, we're up to Platinum Tier 1, which means that by my next video I should be up to Diamond. So, whoop whoop. Um, and then on to Mythic, which is probably not going to happen this season, maybe next season. Next season, I can feel it. Mythic's happening. Mythic's happening. Anyway, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, Bouncy Bear, out.